Welcome everybody. Welcome this evening. It's lovely to have you all here. I'm so excited about sharing this. Um, I was doing these light baths regularly um, through the last few years and weekly um, through much of last year, but it's been a long break. I haven't been back doing this now since, um, since September. So I'm really excited to be back here um, working with you all again. Um, I've got my healing book here, which many of you are in. Um, your name is in here and you get healing regularly from me. If, you're, if you don't think you're in it, if you haven't joined the Facebook group or um, put your name in it when you've been with me, um, just drop me an email later and I'll make sure you're in it, okay? So I've been working with this beautiful new energy since January. If you joined me last year, I was working with Metatron. I still am. He's very much there. You, he's, he's, Metatron is just so majestic and so magical. Um, and he's been teaching me so much. But on January the 11th, I remember the day because it was so powerful. Um, I got this new, beautiful new energy coming in and they called it the Lemurian Christ Healing Rays. And I was just like, wow. And um, these are the colors. These these lovely blues I've got behind me. I've had these for years, but these are um, the colors that they're showing me. It's a very watery, liquid, beautiful energy. I'm having some incredible results working with it. And I'm with my clients one-to-one -one, and um, here at home and distant healing. And I'm really excited about sharing with you all. So they've been t downloading with me uh, the last couple of days and all day today what they want me to do with you all and what they've been telling me is quite interesting so they said that there is something with the way life is on earth at the moment how it has been and what we're transitioning through our heart we all know that our heart energy has suffered don't we we all know that you know a lot of us feel that our that the heart of humanity has closed um through fear through stress through isolation through disconnection through a feeling of being separate from each other and from the earth and but they say that it's more than just that they were saying that there's actually something much deeper that's happening when the heart in a human shuts down and it's almost like they were describing it like a light like a light inside the heart and that's what they want me to try and help all of us activate this evening is a is a light in the heart that's almost perhaps been forgotten and that can easily be shut down at any point from birth right through when we suffer any kind of great loss, a heartache, a trauma, you know, a bereavement, all of the things that happen to a human being that nowadays we don't have the rituals, the ceremonies, the healers living in our communities so much to help us to process that and to stay alive in the heart. So many of us, I think they were saying pretty much most of us, whether we realize it or not, have had this almost mechanism of a light in the heart closed down. And they've been telling me that that not just affects the heart and our ability to love um, and receive love, but it actually affects the brain. They've been telling me that there's a part of the brain that perhaps science hasn't discovered yet, um, maybe never will in our lifetimes, that actually connects to the heart and that it actually is affecting us mentally and that a lot of the mental illness that we're seeing on the planet, the depression, the anxiety, all of that kind of thing is actually um, being caused by this heart light being completely put out. So tonight's meditation is about trying to activate the heart. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do my little scan, okay? So I'm going to do my little scan through. Um, so if you can get as close to your camera as you like without feeling disconcerted by it, your, my screen to look at you is there, but my screen with you on it is here. So I am looking at you, okay? I'm just going to scan through. So I'm literally going to go, oh, lovely, there's three of you in that one. Hi, there's two of you there. That's lovely. Wonderful. So I am looking at you through the Zoom and then I'm going to look at my camera so you can directly look at me, all these beautiful beings. <laughs> so I'll now look here. So if you can just look directly into my eyes, there's a lot in the eyes. There's a lot of soul, a lot of spirit in the eyes that also connects to the heart. Beautiful. Wonderful, thank you. So now you can sit back a little bit, but still stay sat up. We're gonna do a little bit of breath work, okay? So they've given me this. They've told me that this is a little mudra that they want you to make. So thumbs go, to, so start with palms together, 
and then open up tips of thumbs together index fingers together now bring that shape to your heart center so your palms are kind of facing out okay you can bring that right up sit as upright as you can and then close your eyes and start to focus into your breath. We're just going to do a few minutes of breath work and they've described this like they want you to feel that this diamond shape that you've made with your hands is a diamond crystal, a crystalline angelic crystal that we're going to embed in the heart center. And then during the healing meditation, they will be activating that for you, okay, to spark up this light and reconnect the heart with this part of the brain that has been drastically shut down over the centuries, over the thousands of years that humans have been in a dark place as we transition into love and into light. So what I want you to do is, it's going to, what I want you to do is take an inhale in two parts. If you do yoga, you'll know this. If you don't, I'll explain it. So you take an inhale like that in two parts and then exhale in two parts. Okay, so inhale, exhale. So that's the first part, okay? And then as you do that, they want you to imagine the first part of the inhale, imagine right thumb and then second part right index finger. On the exhale, first part down left index finger and then down left thumb. So you're basically going up and up on your inhale, down, down on your exhale, okay? So inhale, right thumb, inde index finger, exhale, left index finger, left thumb. Does that make sense? Give me some nods. Good. I will guide you through. So we're gonna go inhale, exhale. And you're, you're imagining that. You don't have to actually do anything with your hands. Just hold them where they are, okay? So let's take a deep breath in to begin and a long exhale, then in two parts, inhale, up the right side, exhale, two parts, down the left side, inhale, right side, exhale, 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 left side, continue, inhale, two parts, left, right side, thumb, index finger, exhale, two parts, index finger, thumb, left side, so keep going round and round, that diamond shape, up the right and down the left, Try and find quite a long breath now that you're used to what you're doing so it's slow and deep and you're taking a full breath on your inhale, a full breath on your exhale. Couple more minutes. Try and relax your body now, lengthen up through your spine. We're really activating the lungs, the spinal column, the heart center, the vagus nerve into the brain. A little bit longer. Relax your shoulders, relax your hips, relax your arms, relax your legs, keep going. Last round, inhale, exhale. Good, and then from there, just bring your palms together at your heart. And imagine that diamond shape moving now into your body, into your heart center, embedding itself in the heart. And we're going to light up and activate it, this light within you, this diamond light within you. 
and I'm now going to invite you to come to lie down. It's much better to be really relaxed with this part because after a few more minutes of me guiding you, there's then going to be a long period of silence where I will just be sending you some beautiful healing through through the ether, through the quantum field. And as you lie down and get comfortable, I'm just going to explain a little bit about how this healing works. So what the Lemurians are doing is working on something they're calling your soul plasma body. They've described plasma a little bit like, they actually told me it's like frog spawn. They said, imagine that it looks like frog spawn. So it's like a clear sort of jelly and that's your soul. You take your soul with you through every life that you have. You will have had hundreds, millions, billions of lives perhaps and throughout those lives you've experienced different situations, you've come into contact with different people, you would have built up karma. Much of that karma is now being released. This is the time we're coming to that crescendo. Many of you may feel that you're being squeezed at the moment as if I know some of you may be feeling that you just don't know if you can take any more of what the universe is trying to squeeze you into at the moment. But be assured that this is a process of healing. This is bringing everything up to the surface and what is happening is that much of this plasma body that has lived through these many, many lifetimes is now, it's all being released. So many past lives are being released, many past lives for which you are corded and hooked into in this life, whether it's through love, relationships, money and poverty, scarcity, health, illness, disease, suffering of any kind, heartbreak, whatever it is that you're feeling you're being pushed into at the moment, it's coming to be released. And they've invited you all here this evening to try and work to, en masse, try to help to clear. So this is nothing, I don't do anything other than act as a channel for them to do their light work on you. So I don't know what's going to happen. So let's just come and close the eyes now, really comfortable. Start to focus back into your breath. And I'm just going to go silent just for a couple of minutes as I just really tune in and call in their energies, inviting them in. and asking that all the work we do this evening is embedded into this recording so that anyone watching it in the future will be able to enjoy it again and again. And this is the moment where you may wish to add your own request for healing, an intention, a prayer, a request for help, whatever it is that you need at this time, please ask, please put it out there and ask. And you might also like to offer up your willingness to receive this healing this evening from the Lemurians through me. So now that you're lying comfortably and focusing into your breath, just start to let go through your body. Feel the whole of the back of your body sinking into the surface that you're lying on, whether it's the floor, a chair or the sofa. Perhaps you're lying in your bed. Just feel that first layer of release through the joints in the body, through the hips and the shoulders and the jaw, through the knees, and the elbows, the wrists, and the ankles. And calling in now this Lemurian Christ healing ray of light that is going to start pouring down through the crown of your head. I want you to imagine a beautiful blue, a beautiful iridescent blue with a hint of silver. It's iridescent, it's sparkling, coming down through the crown 
It's moving down through your skull, through your throat, down through your spine, down into your hips, down in between your legs, and from there down into the earth. This light, this beam of light is aligning you with your soul star above your head, your earth star beneath your feet, aligning you with the journey point to where you are today. And this light will help to align you to coming in to the point where you should be in your life right now, karmically, your destiny point. If anything is not aligned, if any, anything is out of order, out of alignment in your life at this point, then the energy will help to settle you into the space where you should be. So this is a powerful healing to be invited to find your karmic point in this life, here and now. Asking that anything that doesn't align with where you should be on your journey, anything that has taken you away from where you should be at this point, anyone you're in contact with who you should have already let go of, anyone who should be with you, and hasn't yet come. Anything dark that has attached or corded or hooked to you that should by now have been removed. Asking that all shadow energies that could perhaps have been healed by this point are now brought into alignment so that you are exactly where you should be on your journey point. And asking that this is the moment when that journey point is met and that over the next few weeks and months or year, everything starts to shift, everything starts to reorder to bring you to where you should be so that you can complete your karmic soul journey in this lifetime. Bringing a, a process of speeding up any healing that needs to happen. So we've drawn in that light, we've drawn in the Lemurian Christ healing rays for each of you, down through your body. And then I want you to just relax down through your feet, through your ankles, relax through your calves, and through your shins. Relax through your knees, completely relaxing through your thighs. Relaxing at your hips, into the whole of your back, through the back of the head. Relaxing at the crown of the head and down over the face, the forehead, the eyes soften, the nose, the cheeks, the ears, the mouth and the chin. Relaxing down over your throat and your collarbone, your chest, your abdomen and your belly. Feeling your whole body releasing from your shoulders down your arms to your elbows, your forearms into your wrists and into your hands and into your fingers. So connecting into your soul plasma body now, the body that you can access and feel at times in meditation, in yoga nidra, in sound healing, sometimes in sleep. That slow soul plasma body that has journeyed through all your lives and that holds an imprint karmically of everything that has ever happened to you that soul plasma body that in itself is trying to bring through great healing for you at this time now by manifesting in many, many ways in your life, be it love, relationships, family, friends, abundance and poverty and scarcity, health, whatever it is, however those problems are manifesting for you in life, they are held in this soul plasma body So 
So just asking that each of you are given healing for anything that needs to be removed within that plasma, anything that is being held there, anything that it's time to release and process now so that you can feel more free, more healthy, more alive. And then moving to the heart, moving to the heart space now and imagining yourself beyond this physical body. So the soul plasma body is light. It is pure, pure light. And I want you to imagine that diamond within your heart, that shape that you are making with your hands. Imagine it there in your heart. You can imagine it like a spinning diamond. You can imagine it just still resting in there. Those two points, the top of the point of that diamond coming up into your chest, up to your collarbone and the lower point coming down into, into your ab abdomen. Deep breaths. I want you to imagine that that diamond, that light is pure, brilliant white light inside you. So bright that if you were to look at it with open eyes, it would blind you like the sun. It would blind you like the sun. And that light is creating an activation inside your heart. Just noticing any sensations you feel there in your chest. Any sensations you feel there up into your throat. Any sensations you feel down into your abdomen. Feeling that that diamond light inside your heart is now plugging like it's connecting in to those Lemurian Christ healing rays that we've set from the crown of your head all the way down through the body into your earth star. And this diamond light inside you is starting to activate something that's moving up into your brain through that light, like you've plugged into a wire. So any sensations that you're feeling now are moving upwards and you may feel sensation at your forehead, at your third eye, at your crown, at the top of the head or around your temples. If you're physically sensitive to energy, you may feel this. If you're not, don't worry. It's all happening, whether you feel it or not. So just relax. Just completely relax. All the work is done for you now. The, the light has been set inside, the diamond light in your heart, the healing rays running through. And now, I'm just going to hand over to the, the light, to the healing energies. I'm going to go quiet now, about 20, 25 minutes, where I'm just going to sit and I'm going to beam this energy to you. So just relax, just let go and enjoy.
coming back to an awareness of that diamond light within your heart. And feel now, if you can, visualize or imagine that it's spinning. It's spinning at high speed, spinning inside your body, spinning in your heart. Getting faster and faster and faster. Spinning. And as it spins, that light that it's emanating, that light that it's radiating, that illuminated light within is starting to expand, spiraling out like the center of a tornado, just spiraling bigger and bigger and bigger until it's beyond your body, it's spinning around your body and then beyond, way out into your energy body, into your aura, into your field, spinning fast. So it almost feels like it's so fast, it's creating like a wind. Perhaps even you could imagine the sound of it as it spins and spins and spins and spins. It's not just spinning out from your heart center, it's spinning up, spinning up through your shoulders, your neck, up around your head to your crown, and it's spinning down, down your abdomen, your back, your hips, your thighs, your knees, your calves and shins, your ankles, and down into your feet. It's going under your feet and it's going above your head. So it's almost like you're within the eye of a storm, you're within the eye of that tornado, spinning and spinning and spinning. And it's so bright, it's so light, it's so radiant, it's crystalline, it's angelic, it's beautiful. And what it's doing is it spins and you can imagine it expanding out as far as you can. Imagine it's expanding out. What that clearing is doing is purifying. It's bringing clearing and purifying to anything, anything that's standing in the way of the activation of this heart light within you. This activation of your heart light is so vital to the transition of the planet at this time. Feeling that you can truly be in love with your life. Truly be in love with yourself. And feel all that gratitude for being here to witness everything that we see unfolding on the planet. Seeing it through the eyes of love without fear, without hate, without worry or stress or anxiety, without feeling low. See it through the eyes of love. See the world, see your life, see yourself through the eyes of God. You are divine. This love is divine. And this purification, this wind, this crystalline tornado, this storm around you, is bringing a clearing to anything that's standing in the way of you seeing through the eyes of God. Loving everything, everything you see, everything you feel, everything you have, everything you have lost, loving it all. Trusting and truly knowing that it is all divine. So feel now that you can surrender yourself, surrender your life if you wish to, if you feel you can at this time to the divine, to the eyes of love. And there's no rush to do this, there's no need to do this if you don't want to, but if you can at this point, just sending out a message, an intention to let the angels, let God, let the universe know that you are willing to release anything from within yourself or external in your life that is standing in the way of you seeing through the eyes of love, through feeling that heart light, having it activated and all the connections that it then starts to bring, all the awakenings it starts to bring, the parts of your brain, your DNA, your energy body that start to fire up as your heart light begins to see again. So just if you wish to, saying in your own mind or out loud right now, I am willing 
to surrender my life, to surrender myself to the eyes of love. I am willing to release anything that stands in the way of me being pure love here on earth, anchoring in love here on the planet at this time. I am willing to stand strong in love and see only love through my eye, through my heart, through my body, through my mind, through my thoughts, through my actions, only love. adding anything you wish to add to that statement if you wish to. And asking that we be helped in this process because it isn't easy to let go. It isn't always easy to trust in the process. but knowing that we are being looked after and helped and supported in this healing, both individually and collectively. Especially when it's time for those things that are standing in our way to go. So we're coming towards the end of the healing. So I'm going to invite you to stay exactly where you are if you wish and not move. If you're comfortable, if you're cozy, if you're perhaps even asleep right now, feel free to just stay as you are. I will turn your videos off for you. And then the meditation will end without you needing to do anything. If you do wish to come back, and there's no pressure to at all, then just gently start to just wiggle your fingers. Just give the fingers a little wiggle so you can start to feel them again, back into your full physical body now. Maybe some deep breaths as you start to wiggle your toes. Just gently give them a wiggle and then roll out your wrists. Just roll the hands, roll out your ankles. And then maybe have a stretch, reach the arms out or up, perhaps turn the head side to side a little. And as you're gently bringing yourself back, or if you're continuing to lie down, just taking a moment to come into that high vibration of gratitude for any healing that was received during the meditation. Anything you felt, how little, how subtle, how small, or how much more if that was felt, just kritajna, gratitude. And then when you're ready, if you're ready, you can slowly come up to sit. Just take your time. Really no rush at all. And as you come up to sit, just bring the hands to the heart and close the eyes. And if you did feel any healing during our meditation this evening, and you know anyone in your life at this time who is in need of healing, just take a moment just to think of them now. Just send them some of that love that was activated within you. Send it to somebody you know who's perhaps not feeling great or is unwell or suffering in any way. You might like to just ask the universe, ask your angels, whoever you like to pray to, to take care of that person, look after them, spend some time with them, let them feel loved, 
through the field, through the ether. And then you might like to just share that energy out a little wider than just one person. Perhaps there's lots of people or perhaps there's a group or perhaps there's an area in the world or a part of the world. It could be Mother Earth herself or perhaps it's just the entire planet. Perhaps you just want to imagine all the billions of people, all the sentient beings on the planet. All the, the fire element, the air element, the water element, the earth element the devas, the elementals of Mother Earth, wherever you wish to send your healing. Just send us a few moments in, in prayer. And they're asking me to just ask you to continue to connect to that diamond light within your heart for the rest of the evening or whenever you're watching this. Um, take it to bed with you. Wake up in the morning with it. Perhaps, you know, write yourself a note or a reminder on your phone or a post-it note somewhere, a little diamond, just to remind you to keep it there. And a real reminder that whatever you see through your eyes for the rest of the evening, into tomorrow, into the weekend, try to see through the eyes of love. Just try to feel that you are divine and you are seeing through divine eyes. There is no ugliness, there is no hate, there is no fear, there is no wrong, there is no falsehood through the eyes of God. All is love, all is pure. And just see how that feels to practice. So you might like to rub the hands together now just to ground yourself a little and place your hands over your eyes. Let them sit there a moment enjoying the last of the darkness behind the closed eyes then filtering in some light and blink your eyes open and bring your hands down when you're ready. Thank you everyone, much, much love to you. I really hope you enjoyed that. Um, do feel free to stick around if you want to um, 